I've enclosed two shirts from the iconic US fretted instrument store, Mandolin Brothers. The owner of Mandolin Brothers was one of my very closest friends, Stan Jay. We spent many hours both on stage and off playing guitar together. Stan passed away a few years back and I was permitted to have several of the Mandolin Brothers shirts, including these two. When Stan's family closed the shop, Stan uh, would have loved these instruments and your company in general. I hope you will wear them in tribute to Stan, who was an industry leader who loved all fretted instruments. So that and this t-shirt was sent in from uh, George Hergen. And uh, George has been a great supporter of what we've been doing over the last while. Um, has three guitars already and has a 12 spring in order. And uh, I just really appreciated that. Um, Mandolin Brothers, what an amazing store. And um, yeah, so uh, it's definitely a tribute to Stan. Um, We've got a, a great run of guitars going out today and uh, you know the kind of things that you probably wouldn't have found in Mandolin Brothers, to be fair. Um, you get a lot of eclectic guitars in there, but uh, maybe not a lot of these sort of things. So let's dig in and uh, I'm going to start actually right down here, a pretty special one. So this one is going out to Ron in uh, the Netherlands. Uh, we ran a competition. Um, back in, uh, I think it was around about March or February, earlier in the year, and uh, the competition was to, to win a custom build. And it was also to come here and collect the guitar in person. But uh, unfortunately, due to COVID, uh, there's travel restrictions between uh, Netherlands and Ireland. So um, he wasn't able to come here and, and collect this in person. So we're gonna be shipping it out to him. And I just wanted to present it here. Um, he gave us a specification of what he wanted to build as his dream build and uh, it's a nylon string. Uh, the surface here has been done with our, our silver weave, so it's a, like a brighter fiber rather than the straight car black carbon. And we've given it this beautiful um, uh, gold finish over it. Uh, it's one of our nylon guitars with uh, the slotted headstock, uh, hand-carved bridge, all hand-carved by myself. Uh, gold theme on the headstock here with the, the gold Schertler tuners. And uh, a unique, theme that we, um, that we created just for him is, uh, is these Celtic knots, the Trinity knots. So uh, I think they're really, really beautiful. Um, done in gold, uh, gold frets, gold strings. It's just uh, it's a beautiful combination of colors. Uh, if you look around the back, you can see uh, that real vibrant gold finish and uh, then running up into the, the headstock, which is uh, carved in, in black carbon fiber. So that's why it's uh, it's got the darker finish on the top. Contrast really well, really beautiful specification. So thanks for coming up with such a great specification to really push us. And uh, this was the first nylon guitar actually that we built um, off our new mold, uh, the new X20 mold. So um, yeah, it had a lot of the features that you wanted. Uh, I think you're gonna love it. And hopefully next year when things start to calm down again, you're gonna be able to come and pick it up in person. So, um, so that was a really fun competition, and uh, yeah, it was uh, nice to nice to find a worthy winner. And I think Ron has maybe one or maybe two of our guitars already, so it's adding to collection. So, first one we're going into here now is uh, James and Scott in Washington, and um, this is our Synergy ukulele, uh, and uh, this one is done with a quilted maple veneer on the top. Beautiful green over the quilted maple, uh, green carbon fiber, satin finish on the neck, and uh, what a wonderful little harp ukulele. So it's regular tenor uh, ukulele with uh, four extra harp, harp strings on here, and it uh, just really adds an extra fullness and dimension to your, your ukulele playing. Now, here's another great little instrument. We're starting with the smallest first. Uh, this is going to go into Richard in Virginia. And, uh, and this one is uh, our Amicus 12 string. So uh, 12 strings, six pairs, tuned in unison, tuned to D, same as the capo on your 10th fret, and uh, just gives you a wonderful full sound, a uh, really unique sounding instrument. Finished here in our green carbon. Next up is, uh, is going to Pio in uh, Sweden. It's our X10. Level three in the black carbon, so it's got our uh, uh, custom-made Crevo. They hand make these guitar or these pickups for us. It's got the six individual uh, graph tape piezos, 
Uh, got the MIDI and all the controls on the side and the, the straight black carbon finish. Next up is one going to Arizona, Michael. Um, this is a same guitar, just finished in the green carbon. Same features. And uh, you can see on that X10, it's just got that beautiful sculpted back. The uh, extended neck access so it really gives you great access up into the higher frets. Another X10, as you can see, it's a popular model. This one's going out to Rod in Australia. And uh, this one's finishing red, red carbon. So uh, all these guitars are molded in the same carbon fiber. It's a black carbon fiber finish. And uh, then we put these transparent colors over the top. So it uh, just gives you that really nice pop of color. Then we have one going to Nile and Kildare, right here in Ireland. And um, yeah, so he asked us for a couple of little features. Uh, one thing that's a little bit different is this has been finished with the uh, much lighter strings, so these are actually electric guitar strings and nines. Um, so we've set it up accordingly. And uh, he also asked us to uh, to put uh, NJK in here uh, into the clear coat. So that's actually put in underneath the clear coat and then surfaced over. Nice little extra feature and red carbon back and sides. Another X10. Wow, this is a real X10 week. This one's going to California, out to Justin. And uh, this one is Koa. I really like this piece of Koa, actually. Um, it's got these two big knots here. And I just really love how they kind of got a much darker look. Uh, and then all the, the lighter coming rolling down into it. Um, beautiful, beautiful piece. Uh, amber back and sides. And uh, the game, same uh, level three pickup system. Now we're into X20s. Uh, so Earl in Idaho. Earl, I wish I was going to Idaho at the moment. Um, Idaho is a place I love, and uh, I spent some time there a couple of summers ago. So that brings back some memories. So uh, this is our X20, finished in green carbon, and uh, with our new X20 features, uh, more sculpted back, the extended uh, neck access. Earl, hopefully you'll enjoy that. Then we've got Paul in Connecticut. So uh, this is the same X20, and this one is finished just in the natural black carbon fiber. So you can see the difference. This is just the, the carbon fiber weave with uh, just a clear coat, no color, and uh, yeah, really nice. So next up is uh, Barnett in Massachusetts. Here we have another X20, and um, the X20, we updated that back in July. We gave it a, a new shape to the end of the fretboard, this sort of a grand piano kind of shape here, which is quite beautiful, I think. Uh, changed the bridge shape and uh, went to a pinless bridge. So it's a beautiful kind of clean sculpted look. And uh, this one's finished in Cocobolo. And uh, this is quite a little bit different than some of the Cocobolos that we have. It's got a lot of uh, sort of lateral grain. Um, two nice, uh, two nice, knots here and uh, yeah really nice colors amber back and sides okay so uh, now we're going to canada this one's going to dawn in calgary and uh, this is another beautiful royal ebony x20 there's been, uh, been a few nice royal ebony guitars going out to calgary uh, maybe there's a theme um yeah so uh beautiful piece uh really nice detail on this royal ebony Love the, uh, the sort of flame detail down here. Uh, lighter running into darker going up into the body here. Uh, finished with um, the uh, chrome tuners. I think chrome tuners really seem to stand out nicely against uh, the Royal Ebony. Nice feature. Uh, black carbon back and sides. Uh, yeah, really like that. Beautiful guitar. Now, next one is going to Missouri. Uh, and this is a Harbor Rica X20 nylon. So uh, I was just doing a, a veneer unboxing video just earlier today, and uh, we were unveiling some new Harbor Rica with some beautiful Harbor Rica there. This one's really nice because it's all very light. Some of it has much more, uh, much more of the black pattern in it, but this is a lot of lighter wood. And I think it works really well on a nylon. And um, black carbon on the back and sides, which goes Great with Harborica and uh, the slotted nylon headstock. 
So, uh, beautiful nylon guitar. And uh, the next nylon we already talked about, that was Ron's from the Netherlands. Then we've got Ulrich in Germany. And uh, this is an X30, it's our big jumbo guitar. Um, so the X30 is a, a really full body jumbo guitar. I wanted to build something that had a really big body to give you a really full sound. But uh, we don't want to make something that's unplayable. So uh, we really sculpted the back and sides. And it's got this contour here that really works. Massive help. Uh, the big rib, rib bevel there allows you to sit comfortably into your body. It's got the extended neck access and uh, the arm bevel. So all those details together uh, just makes it feel an awful lot smaller than it actually is. And it's that big body that gives it the big sound. So uh, really, really great jumbo in, the, in our black carbon. Now, here's another one that's uh, not going very far. In fact, I think he's coming to pick it up in person. Uh, this is going to uh, Justin Black. And uh, Justin has been a good friend of the company for a number of years. Uh, he's been here filming and uh, normally behind the camera. Um, so we're going to get him to come in and pick this up in person and hopefully we'll get him in front of the camera. I'm going to make him sing and uh, play a little song for us. Um, hopefully, it'll, hopefully it'll go with that. Uh, so this is a beautiful X30 in our quilted maple vintage amber. And um, he spec'd a different pickup on this one. It's uh, one of the uh, shadow pickups that has the six individual little balance. Um, uh, pots here. So, uh, really cool pickup system actually. Um, so, uh, can't wait to hear Justin playing this. Now, last one is, uh, oh sorry, second last one. Sarah in Arizona, uh, X30, and uh, this is done in Candy, Stri Candy Stripe Paduk. Uh, it's got that beautiful red colors and uh, the, uh, the lighter wood here. So, uh, been done in a sort of a V pattern. So uh, really nice how it runs back up in here and towards the neck, wider at the bottom running in. So it's uh, really made a lot of the sort of the shape of the guitar. Um, I think that's uh, very nicely, uh, very nicely set up. Headstock to kind of match. Uh, you can see how it's formed nicely around the, uh, the truss rod pocket there. And then red carbon back and sides. Last one is uh, Tim in Minnesota, and another Harborica. So you can see this is a much darker Harborica. So the Harborica has a lot of different characters in it, um, but uh, yeah, this one's really nice. Uh, another beautiful pattern, black carbon back and sides. So what a great big jumbo to finish. So that's it for this week. Great selection of guitars going around the world, and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. <laughs>